Now on BBC Two, words and pictures. With a reminder first that teacher's notes combined with the letterbox programme on Radio 3 are obtainable by phoning 0181 746 Juggling makes my jewellery jangle. Whoa! Jogging makes my jewellery jangle. Jumping makes my jewellery jangle. Whoa! Jumble sale. Jacket. What else can you see that starts with the same sound? I had so much lovely jewellery. This bangle was a present from my dad. And this necklace I got at a jumble sale. A necklace full of zebras. Zebras are wild horses. Their stripy coats make them look like mint humbugs. Although all zebra's stripes look the same, every zebra has a different pattern. When a baby zebra is born, it needs to stay near to its mother so that she can look after it. A baby learns the pattern of its mother's skin, so if it gets lost, it can find her again. Zebras like to keep their skin clean. The tick bird helps by picking off tiny insects that land on the zebra. And zebras have other ways of keeping clean. These two are cleaning, or grooming, each other. They live on the African plains with lots of other animals. Zebras spend most of their day eating. Like most horses, they eat grass, and plenty of it. When they want a drink, they have to look for a water hole. When they found one, they like to stand in the water to cool down their feet. Zebras love to play. Debra the zebra. The best dressed lady zebra. From her head to her toes, wears the latest style in clothes. Debra the zebra. She looks a gorgeous sight. 
in overcoat and matching tights, in stripes of black and white. Today's story is about a zebra. Greedy zebra. Long, long ago, all the animals in the world were a dull, depressing colour. No coats, no horns, no spots and no stripes. Just dull and dusty. Until... One stormy day, in the heart of the leafy forests of Africa, there was a great rumbling in the earth. And all of a sudden, a huge cave appeared in the ground. A few of the animals crept cautiously up to this new and wonderful sight. And when the bravest of them peered into the darkness, he saw something glittering amongst the rocks. The cave was full of furs and skins, all glossy and new. Stepping inside, he came across horns and tails of countless shapes and sizes, and needles and threads of a thousand different colours. The news spread far and wide, and soon all the animals were on their way to see the cave, running and jumping and sliding and swinging and slithering through the trees. All that is, except one, greedy zebra. Greedy zebra never, ever stopped eating. He certainly wasn't going to give up a single mouthful for a silly old cave of any sort. Mm, lots of time to go visiting caves. Plenty of time. Soon, all the animals in the jungle were gathered at the mouth of the cave, waiting for Elephant to speak. Elephant was the one who knew everything, because Eagle told him all the secrets of the spirit of the mists. He coughed pompously and addressed the gathering. <coughs> It is time for you all to have coats, he said. There are all kinds of materials here from which you may choose. You will be issued with needles by rabbit, but there is only one needle each, so take good care of it. Now you may go in, but no shoving and pushing, and keep in an orderly line. Meanwhile, Greedy Zebra was still eating. Munch, munch, he went. This particular grass is so delicious. He stopped to gape at the beautiful thing in front of him. It couldn't be, but it was Sable the Antelope, and she was wearing the most glorious new coat. And horns! She was wearing horns! When Greedy Zebra heard that the coat and horns came from the cave, he trotted off as fast as his fat little legs could carry him. But he couldn't resist a leaf here, or a succulent blade of grass there. From time to time he met another, and another, and yet another of the wonderfully clothed animals. Stopping for a last bite not far from the cave, he watched Leopard finish her sewing. Greedy Zebra could hardly believe his eyes as he watched Leopard wriggle into the perfectly fitting fur. I shall have spots like that, he said to himself, and he hurried off, eager to reach the cave. Back at the cave, most of the animals were leaving. Only Rhino and Elephant were still cutting their material. They had chosen a very strong grey cloth. Poor old Rhino, who was very short-sighted, had stuck his horns on any old how and was having a terrible time. He put on the baggy coat and shuffled off in a very bad mood. Just then, Greedy Zebra trotted by with blades of grass bulging from his mouth. I'll have spots like leopard! 
he was saying, and horns like Kudu, a mane like Lion, and a tail like Cheetah. I shall be the finest looking animal in the forest. And at the risk of indigestion, he gave a short gallop into the cave. Then he stopped aghast. There was nothing left. No horns, no fine cloth, nothing. Frantically, he searched through the cave, but all he could find were a few strips of black material. Forlornly, he cut them all to the same size and stitched them together. It looks very tight, he thought nervously to himself. Being such a very fat zebra, he had a terrible time squeezing into his coat. It was nearly bursting at the seams around his fat tummy. He trotted down to the stream to take a quick bite of a leafy bush and... Pop! His coat burst open. Pop! 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 His tubby tummy squeezed through the seams. How the monkeys roared with laughter! To this day, his chubby stomach shines through his coat because he is so greedy. So that's how all the jungle animals got their coats. What's happening in this jungle? Jungle. Jumping. Juggling. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> Jolly jungle. Jolly, jungle. Both these words start with the same letter. Watch how Magic Pencil writes it. All the way down and around, then dot. 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 Jungle. Animal Fair, join in. I went to the Animal Fair. The birds and the beasts were there The big baboon by the light of the moon Was combing his auburn hair The monkey fell out of his bunk And slid down the elephant's trunk The elephant sneezed and fell on his knees But what became of the monkey, 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 monk? I went to the animal fair The birds and the beasts were there down the elephant's trunk the elephant sneezed and fell on his knees but what became of the monkey 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 monk and monday at 9 45 you can see number plus when they'll be counting in tens to a hundred on sunday mornings kickstart your day with children's bbc2 a double bill tv treat you can't afford to miss Two shows, one channel. First up, stacks of fun with the Charlie Brown and Snoopy show. Totally cool, totally wild. Everybody's favourite cartoon classic. This is very amusing. 
So wake up to where the fun's really at. The Charlie Brown and Snoopy Show. And for amusement only, Sunday mornings on Children's BBC Two. <laughs> Good morning! Welcome to Children's...